everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a full review on the Dr. Teal's line. These products say that they're new, but I've seen them on the market for a couple of months now, so I don't know exactly how new they are, but they're definitely new to me. I have tried all of these out and I'm gonna tell you in detail just how awesome I think they are and why. If you're new here, my name is Kina and this channel is all about product reviews, shopping hauls, home decor, makeup products, and things like that. So if those things interest you, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let's get started. Okay, so we have body wash, shampoo and conditioner, body oil, bubble bath, and even the nighttime spray. So I'm gonna start with the body wash. This is the Pure Epsom Salt Coconut Oil Nourish and Protect. You guys, I might as well just say right now, the smell of all of these products is so good. It smells very luxurious and spa-like. If you've ever used the Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt or bath bombs or anything like that, then you already know that you're gonna get that really rich essential oil, lavender chamomile type of scent. I think the entire line smells so incredible. So this is the first time I tried the coconut oil. It also has aloe vera, shea butter, and vitamin E. Now this brand is made in the U.S. so if you love to support U.S. brands this is a very good one and some of the products are vegan and cruelty free and some aren't so it's kind of a shame that the entire line wasn't that way but I will let you know which ones are cruelty free and vegan. So I tried this today and I thought it was so so good in terms of smell, how it softened my skin, and it really provided this whole experience in the shower. I think that's what we look for a lot of times in body washes, the experience experience, right? I will list the price of everything in the description below as well. If I had to describe the smell, it obviously smells like coconut, but it also has like lavender and something else in there. It just smells so good. I love it. Next is the shampoo and conditioner, and I was really excited for this. The shampoo I got in lavender, it's the thick and full formula. It has biotin and plant proteins. I'll read you the back. It says, everyone deserves healthy looking hair. Each of our shampoos and conditioners include essential oils, biotin, rice and pea plant proteins to help strengthen, hydrate, and generally care for your hair free of sulfates to help preserve hair color. So they're saying it's great if you have colored hair. It has a calming lavender scent, which will also help you decompress and feel relaxed. 100% yes, I definitely experienced that. As soon as I pumped this into my hand, the aroma was overwhelming. I could have just washed my hair for an hour. It was such an experience. No sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no gluten, vegan friendly and cruelty free. This is the consistency of it. It's very thick. One of my favorite parts of the shampoo was the fact that as soon as I started to lather in my hair, even though it has no sulfates, it lathered tremendously. Like there was so much suds and bubbles. I love that in a shampoo because it really makes me feel like my hair is getting really clean. And as soon as I rinsed it out, it had that squeaky clean feeling. And you might be thinking like, oh, that's stripping all of your oils. Your hair is going to be so dry. I didn't experience that whatsoever. My hair was still shiny and like soft. I didn't have any negative experiences from my hair being like stripped or anything. So love, love, love the shampoo. I give that a 10 out of 10. Just smells like you went to a really expensive salon, you know? And then the conditioner, I got the chamomile essential oil. This is softness and shine. It also has the biotin and uh, plant-based protein. Shampoo and conditioner, vegan, cruelty-free. The conditioner also has a very thick consistency. Let me show you that and it has a very good chamomile and lavender smell. This does soften for sure. My hair felt extremely soft. I left it in for probably like five minutes. My husband has a sock over here that I'm just wiping this off on. Thanks, babe. It's going in the wash anyway. I didn't notice a huge difference in the conditioner, like, oh my gosh, my hair, but it left my hair feeling just as soft as my normal conditioner. I will say it left a really good shine though. Like if you can see, I feel like my hair is super shiny and the feel, like the texture of it, it is very, very softening. So I guess depending on what type of hair you have, I think you'd notice a big difference in the softness. My hair is a little on the drier side. It's very curly and this worked really well for me. And just so you know, the conditioner, no parabens, no sulfates, no silicone, just like the shampoo. Moving on. I've been using the Dr. Teal's Soothe and Sleep with Lavender Bubble Bath for quite some time now. It is so good. You put this in your hot bath, very skin softening, very relaxing. Relaxing. I guess that's the whole point of this bubble bath. It says that it promotes a better night's sleep, nourishes your skin, long-lasting bubbles, and it gives you a gentle cleanse. Yes, yes, and yes. These have such a fantastic price point for what they do for you. So if you're somebody who has anxiety like I do, taking a bath at the end of the day, using the bubble bath, and then using this night spray, 
will change your life. At least it did for me. This is a Dr. Teal's sleep spray. It has melatonin and essential oils in it. It promotes a better night's sleep as well. Now you can spray this on your body, which is what I did. I actually put a little bit in my belly button. I just heard that if you put essential oils in your belly button, it really helps. So I put a little bit around the belly button, behind my ears, on my wrists, and then of course on my chest. And let me tell you, not only did it smell phenomenal, but I just felt so relaxed. I don't know how much melatonin this has in it, but I used it just last night and I had the most amazing night sleep. I woke up feeling so rested. I sprayed a little bit on my pillow as well. So this says you can use it in the shower, on pillows and bedding, on the body, or just wherever in your bedroom. So it's a multi-purpose sleep spray, combines melatonin, a hormone that helps regulate sleep and wake cycles, and a soothing blend of lavender and chamomile essential oils to help promote a better night's sleep. I'm just so happy I found this. If you follow me on Instagram, I shared this with you guys last night. It's a game changer, I love it so much. And lastly is the moisturizing bath and body oil. It's lavender, of course. It has jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and aloe vera. It's a thick consistency. So typically I use the Neutrogena body oil and it kind of runs like water. This is pretty runny, but it's like thick too, if that makes sense. It makes your skin smell really pretty. It's so soothing, moisturizing, calming. And this doesn't just stay on your skin and make you feel greasy all day. Just give it a few minutes, rub it in, it just fully absorbs. This is really great for fall and winter time to help soothe dry skin, itchy skin. I love this in combination with lotion. Now they do have a lotion as well, and I didn't pick that up just because I have so many lotions that I need to go through. So I use the hemp lotion and I combine this with that. Man, my skin just drinks it up. It feels soft and smooth and yeah, I just love it. So I'm gonna let this set for a minute or two and then I'll show you guys that you're not gonna be left greasy all day, but you can already see it just leaves you with a very nice healthy glow. One thing that I was gonna mention, I use the Dr. Teal's body wash. It says it has pure Epsom salt in it, but I did wash my lady bits with it because I just wanted to see. I'm always curious when it comes to new products if I can wash down there and it not irritate me and it did not. And I was thinking that it could since it said it has Epsom salt. I was like, ooh, that might bother me, but I wanted to try it anyway. No irritation, no itchiness, nothing. And I usually use the Equate Feminine Wash or just like a really mild bar soap like Dove, but the ingredients in here were the same. Like the first six ingredients were exactly the same. It's just the Dr. Teal's has different types of oils and a couple of other ingredients in it, but I just thought, hey, I'm gonna try it and see if it's similar. And let me tell you the bonus of this last so I've been telling you how good this smells and when I had to go pee later in the day my panties smell so good like a spa so if you do want to try it and wash your lady bits your underwear will be left smelling very pretty I just thought that was a nice bonus okay so it's been about a minute and a half this is what my hand looks like after the body oil and it just leaves a healthy glow and no residue so love 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 this if you guys are not wanting to go out and buy the entire line and you just wanted to try something, I would highly suggest the Foaming Bath uh, Soothe and Sleep Bubble Bath. And this, this right here, get these two. You will have the most relaxing, most soothing, most wonderful time. <laughs> That's it, you guys. I just had to share. My anxiety has just been through the roof lately. But even if you don't have anxiety, you just have like a lot of stress or you're just having a hard time bringing yourself down at the end of the night, try a hot bath, try Dr. Teal's, and definitely try that spray and see what it does for you. It's worth a shot. It's super affordable. There's really nothing to lose but a couple of bucks if you hate it. And if you hate it, you can return it, but I don't think you will. If you guys enjoyed this, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram. I've got that linked in the description below as well. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.